today I'm going to be trying to connect this PowerBook 180 to a modern PC over SCSI and mounting the internal IBM hard drive on the PC which is running Linux. So the PowerBook has an HDI 30 connector for SCSI and it also supports uh, something called target disk mode because normally this port would allow it to connect to another device on a SCSI bus like add an, an additional hard drive but with SCSI t uh, target mode you can connect it to a host like the PC. Now you might be wondering well how are you going to get SCSI on a PC? The answer is a SCSI host adapter card like this Adaptech one. This one's from the 90s and it uses PCI. So your PC must have a P empty PCI slot. Okay, so we have an HDI 30 to Centronix 50 pin adapter right here from eBay. There it is. And what's important is that it has a switch for normal SCSI, so connecting the PowerBook to another device and dock. So connecting the internal hard drive on the PowerBook to a host. So there it is. And then a Centronix 50 pin gender changer uh, because this one is HDI 30 to Centronix male. So that's what the gender changer is for. And then we got a Centronix Terminator. I'm pretty sure we need this one. And then finally, a Centronix uh, cable to HD50. And that is what is going to plug into the host adapter card, like so. Before I put everything back together and turn this around, I just wanted to show you what this looks like when it's plugged in. Yeah. These parts right here of the cable actually sit lower than the bottom of the power book, so I'm gonna have to put it on something to elevate it and not have this going up on the table. But there it is, that's a lot of stuff. Now everything is connected, so I just tried this. There is a certain timing of things that you have to get right, so first gotta turn on the PC. And there it is, it actually boots the option ROM that's installed on the card. And if I had the PowerBook on right now, it would get, it would hang at the screen, but now that it hasn't found anything, it's booting the rub. Okay, so I turn the power book on now. And it goes into target disk mode. And there it is, it's trying to bring up the SCSI card. There it is right there. And you can see when it's transferring data, the icon changes. So if we run a program like Gparted on the PC, it should be able to show us the partition map. There you go, that's the internal drives. And here's the PowerBooks disk. So it has these two partitions that we don't know about. One of those is probably the driver used by Mac OS and then you can as you can see here we actually have our HFS partition so that is where all our Mac OS stuff lives and Linux has a device driver for this 
a SCSI card built into the kernel. That's why we can just plug it in, we can just turn up on and it works automatically. No drivers to install or anything like that. So Linux has a driver for this, in the, uh, but it also knows how to read HFS and mount it. For Microsoft Windows, I think you need a different program to do that, but let's see if we can mount the HFS partition. There it goes. Okay, looks like it's mounted. There we go, look at that. That's all the files we have in Mac OS. I can actually make a backup of the entire hard drive. And you know, maybe we can restart with something else. We can format it. And there it is, it should be copying the entire disk to a file on our PC. Okay, so this setup is pretty neat and convenient for transferring files between the PowerBook and your PC. Like, we can download stuff here, get it on the PC, and then transfer it over to the PowerBook. Like I said, we have full access to the hard disk. So let's try copying over a program. ADB parser in this case. Well, there it is. You can see it copied over instantly, of course, because SCSI is pretty much the fastest bus on this system. I mean, we're done here, so let's unmount it once again. All right, so there we have our file that we copied over from the PC. Let's try and expand it. I can't remember. Okay, there it is. It's able to unbin hex it. There we go. Now we got ADB parser. And yeah, the reason I wanted to try ADB parser is because I got this mouse right here, the track internal trackball isn't working. But there you go, we have the, we connected the PowerBook to a PC with a SCSI card and was able to make a backup of the hard disk and transfer over a program. So I think that's pretty neat.